Good morning, everybody. This is Irene from Trinkle's Garden and Home Life. I was out here yesterday when I made a video, and I didn't notice I had a little surprise. So I thought I'd show you my little surprise. Um, it's a little chilly out here. Um, warming up. It's going to warm up, I'm sure, a little bit. But later on in the week, it's going to get cold, so I'm going to have to wrap up the garden again. But let's take a look at my little surprise. Turn the camera around. And I have my my little guardian who's not supposed to be in the garden in here. But she hasn't been messing with anything. So um, keep my eye out on her. Okay. Well, I did show you all the stuff that came under the bottles, but I want to step over here. Over here, in this little fabric pot, I planted some peas, and I didn't see them for a while. And then, after I made the video yesterday, I noticed that there were peas in the pot so but they were covered up by these little pine chips let me see you see the pea and there's one little seedlings coming up there's one and then over here over here you can see there's one there so I did get some germination and I'm excited about it and I definitely have to keep them safe from the little frost that we will probably get but um, over here uh, I finally cut my rosemary down but over here I wanted to show you the little surprise I got here I sprinkled some spinach, but I put this cloth over just in case something comes up and the birds wouldn't get in it. This is in one of these city pickers. So in here, as you can see, all the little spinach is coming up. Look at that. Yay. And again, like I said, spinach likes the cold, but... I definitely have to protect them from the little frost that we're going to get. I think it's going to get down to like in the 20s. So, we're going to protect them. I even have a little Swiss chard here that's struggling. <laughs> Taking its time. But that's so exciting to see. Yeah, that's something that was so exciting to see. Uh... Yeah, and I don't think I took you to the the veggie pot yesterday in here, only on the second tier in the green stock, I planted some Easter, Easter egg radish, only in a couple pockets, because I've never grown radish, and I'm not even sure I really liked them, so... I said, let me give this a try. So I planted it in these two pockets. And then I had to put this one on a spinner. So I'm going to walk around. Look at her. I'm going to walk around here. She's looking at the birds. The birds are really flying in this area. Uh, and in here, on this side of it, I put the watermelon radish in here so i'm really looking forward to them and i have a cover that I could just throw over top of this to protect it as well from the frost so i'm looking forward to trying those things out looking forward to all the vegetables in the garden yes i am and flowers i had to figure out what to do here i think i put some nasturtiums here um of course they haven't come up right here um, I actually took a cutting from the rose bush and see how that is. 
over here. Took a cutting from this rose bush out front and just stuck it into some soil. So let's see what happens with that. It's another experiment. <laughs> if it roots itself. It's still green. It was still hanging off. It was already cut. But I noticed that the leaves were still hanging on. So I stuck it in that empty pot right there. It would nice it would be nice to have some roses back here. So there you go. Let me take you over here real quick. I just wanted to show you my garden surprise. That was a, a pleasant surprise to see. And also let me show you here. And the veggie pot, the veggie pot. Oh, now in the veggie pot, it's almost uh, 60 degrees in the veggie pot, as you can see. And little purple carrots are still growing, going well. Um, and as you can see, again, some of the vegetables that was... And the fall garden is back in this garden. You can see the seedlings coming up. Uh, so, I'm definitely going to put the frost cover over this. So they won't die. Pray for them. <laughs> but for now, you all, that's all I really have. It's a beautiful day so far, so I'm going to enjoy that. Um, I pray you all have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Have a good day.